Hey, what's up guys? Rob here. Welcome back to a brand new video. It's about one in the morning right now and I just said screw it. I'm going to talk about this right now because it's been a crazy night and I need to talk about this. Um, I've accomplished more tonight than I have in a while on anything really. Uh, I met someone very important to me tonight. I met Tony Moran who is famous for playing unmasked Michael Myers. Even though he did have the mask on and he was choking Lori and then she rips the mask off his face and he's like, oh shit, and then he puts it on. Um, but he is famous for the face of one of the most popular horror movie icons. And it was a privilege and an honor to meet this guy. He was so nice. He was very, very, um, I want to say, outgoing. He, you know, he tells you like it is. And, you know, when I was taking a picture with him, you know, I was so tall. And he tried to put his arm around me. And he's like, you're one tall son of a bitch. <laughs> I lost it. I just, I, you can see in the photo, I'm kind of laughing a little bit, but he, uh, yeah, he was really, really cool. I was not expecting that, but, um, I didn't really have a chance to ask him anything. I just said, I'm a big fan and, uh, it's an honor to meet him and shook his hand. But there, here's the thing, like, there was so many people and the lines were just unorganized. Um, and when I say crazy night, it's, it's a lot of positive and negative stuff. It's basically this event was going on. Somehow they got Tony Moran to come here. It's, um, a haunted house attraction out in the middle of nowhere, cornfield. Uh, there's this house and then there was a bunch of barns. And so they basically roped off everything to create lines and then you pay to get in. Okay, it's $25 to get into the attraction. So that means you get into the place, you can go through the haunted house, um, and then go meet Tony Moran. Now, if you meet him and you want an autograph, that is 20 bucks, which I thought was actually pretty cheap compared to some of these others uh, where you get, uh, you know, here you get an autograph and a picture with him. So I thought that was a damn good deal. Um, but here is the negative about this whole situation. When you walk up to the place where there's like a roped off area, there's a sign that has uh, words on it that say, Tony Moran, this line, haunted house, this line. So if you wanna go see Tony, go down here. If you wanna go to the haunted house, Go there. I mean, you could do this first or that first. It doesn't matter. There are two separate lines. That's what I'm trying to get at here. We enter the Tony Moran line, which actually wasn't really that long. The event started at 7. We got in line before that. Probably a half hour. Probably like 6.30, maybe, maybe 6.45, somewhere around there. We were there before the event even started. And we stood in line for at least three and a half hours. I've never stood in line so long. I, I haven't even... I've been to Cedar Point, the roller coaster park, where I've, you know, ridden on some really fast and some of the highest coasters in the world. And I stood in line for maybe an hour and a half, maybe even two. To the to the most I have never stood in line for three and a half hours my back is killing me my feet hurt it was just terrible so we were wondering why the hell this line was not moving and we found out this people who went into the haunted house came out on the other end and they were merging with the Tony Moran line to meet Tony which I thought was bullshit 
whoever was organizing this was really fucking stupid. I mean, honestly, why the hell would you give people a choice to go in this line or that line when you're actually merging them both anyway? That's stupid. So the people who are sitting there for hours and hours waiting to meet Tony still have to wait because these people who go through the haunted house get a chance to meet him through this this end. I seen three or four couples that actually came in um, way after us who went into the haunted house attraction first and we got up there in you know in the Tony Moran line and we seen them they actually got to meet him before we did. Like what the hell? There were people mad, there were people complaining. I mean, it was it was nuts. It was nuts. There were police there. Um, this guy was complaining to the police, you know. It was very unorganized. Um, even though it seemed like it would be organized. Because, like I said, they had a sign saying, okay, this line or this line. But they didn't do no good. But whatever. I I I sucked it up. And I finally got to meet him. So I took in my uh, Tendis set of Halloween, the complete collection, and I had him sign it for me from Scream Factory here. And uh, it says, To Rob, Trick or Treat, Tony Moran, uh, Michael Myers, H1. Uh, really, really awesome. That's really cool. I will treasure this. You know, this is my first autograph. I, I just, <clears throat> as much as I am a movie fan and a horror fan and stuff, I've, you know, I just don't live close to any of these conventions. And then when a convention comes up, I just never have any money to go to go to one. But this was actually really close to me, uh, to, to my area. And so I was able to, to go. So it was, you know, it was really cool that um, he got to come kind of close to where I am. So the, he also had photos available, and you could, you know, buy one of the photos and he can sign it. Um, and so I got this one. Is him in the suit uh, with holding the mask, and he's unmasked, of course, because that's, you know, that's what he's known for. And it, it says the same thing to Rob, Trick or Treat, Tony Moran, Michael Myers, H1. Um, I am framing this. This is really, really cool. Um, but yeah, he's such a nice guy. Um, just, I just, I, it, it was an honor. It was an honor to meet him. I know some of you out there who are horror fans probably already met him. Probably think it's no big deal, but to me it's, it's a big deal. Because like I said, I don't get to experience this kind of stuff at all, really. And I thought the price was that it was, um, really good for meeting someone, you know, like that. Anyway... Um, it was a real treat. I really, really loved it. The other thing is I got to meet my good buddy Alex. Alex 2.0 on YouTube. He also does, he's part of the Movie Busters. Uh, we do the streams. If you guys have watched our streams with uh, Thomas Horrorfan34 and Alex 2.0, um, I got to meet Alex because he lives in the same state. Uh, we both, you know, we both live in Illinois. And, um... It was really, really cool. We met up at this place. He got an autograph. We stood in line, and I met him. And Alex, you know, I've known him since, like, 2009. He's been a fan of my videos since movie re the early movie review time days back in 2009. And, you know, we talked a lot over Facebook and things like that. And like I said, we do a streaming thing. Um, and it was really awesome to meet him tonight and um you know we clicked just like that it's just he's just it was really cool to go with somebody and um you know now i just got to meet thomas <laughs> uh he lives over in philly but the thing is yeah it was really it was just a crazy night but just just a lot of good came out of it you know a lot more positive than the whole negative thing with the lines and stuff that was happening um just a really really fun time I'm really glad we got to do this, Alex, and, uh, you know, I'm really, like I said, I'm just really honored to meet Tony, uh, you know, because he inspired me, well, him and, you know, Nick Castle, 
they inspired me to want to dress up as Michael. Michael is pretty much my favorite character, horror character to dress up as. I've been dressing up as Michael Myers for years. I've done d videos with Dam, you know, um, those skits that we do every Halloween. I've dressed up as Michael Myers so many times. People in my town know this, you know, they know that I like to do this. And I'm actually a part of an event that's coming up pretty soon in my town where they're doing hay racks and stuff. And um, my cousin and I are doing a Myers skit. And I have the authentic Myers costume from the movie. And uh, we have a skit that's probably going to scare the shit out of people. And I hope it does because um, we're going to bring some, we're going to bring Halloween back, man. That's, that's what we love to do. And so it was just an honor to meet Tony. Like, like I said, it was just, it was so cool. So anyway, guys, yeah, that's what I got tonight. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd share that with you guys. And um, Alex, you know, if you're watching, thanks for joining me. And it was it was awesome to meet you finally in person. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, I'll be back with more reviews and stuff like that. Like I said, I'm going to be starting the Terminator movie reviews soon. I also got a lot of horror movies that I'm still working on that I got to get out there, like Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I saw Ma. I saw, you know, there's all these different movies that I want to talk about that I'm going to start reviewing here, um, as well as some other videos. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I need to go to bed right now.